We have some breaking news just into the newsroom. The Camden Sheriff's Office just released dash cam video of a deputy shooting and killing a man after pulling him over for speeding. It happened Monday morning on Interstate 95. 11 Live's Ron Jones is joining us now to break down the video and what led up to the shooting, Ron. You know, there's a lot of growing concerns about this video. It just was released and several minutes long here, folks, but but we're going to show you the full encounter between the deputy and the suspect, Leonard Cure, before the deputy opens fire. And we're going to start with the video when the audio is turned on when the video starts here, which is right after the vehicle is pulled over on the side of the road. And we want to warn you, this is pretty hard to watch. Get out! Get out! Put your hands back here. I ain't do Put your damn hands back here. Dude. Who are you? Staff Sergeant Officer Sheriff's Office. My name is John Wayne. I don't care. Step to the rear of this vehicle. In the name of who? In the name of the yes. law of the state of Georgia. Step back here. Now you're getting tased. I'm going. Watch me now. Put your hands on the back of that truck. Do you see that? Put your hands on the back of that truck. The back of the truck. Both hands. Turn around. 34, can you send me another unit? One non compliant. Your name is Officer Who? Staff Sergeant Aldridge with the Camden County Sheriff's Office. Who County? Camden County. Put your hand behind your back. Do I have a do I have a warrant? Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Either put your hands behind your back because you're getting tased. I'm telling you that right Why? now. Why am I getting tased? Because you are under arrest for speeding and reckless driving. I'm not driving. Nobody was hurt. How was I speeding? You passed me doing 100 miles an hour. Okay, so that's a speeding ticket, right? Sir, tickets in the state of Georgia are criminal offenses. I don't have a ticket in Georgia. You do now? Why? You passed me doing okay, 100 miles an hour. And what? Am I going to Hands jail? behind your back. Yes, you are going no. to jail. Hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. that we don't want to show everything because moments later, the deputy actually shoots Cure. He falls to the ground. You can see Cure moving around for about a minute after the shooting. Then more first responders, they show up on the scene and about four minutes later after the shooting, officials begin to perform CPR. Now the sheriff's office says that they wanted to make that video available to the public to show how the incident escalated to the point of extreme use of force, guys. Yeah, Ron, a lot of folks have been talking about this, wanting more information yeah. about what's going on. We do know that you are a former police sergeant. You have a lot of history also as a training officer. So what did you make of what you were able to see? Well, well first of all, I don't want to be a Monday morning quarterback, but I do have a few questions here, such as, why did the officer demand, as soon as he got there to the scene, that Mr. Cure get out of the truck? Why didn't he walk to the passenger side? These are questions that I would be asking, especially with so much traffic there. Could he have used a better de-escalation approach as he was walking to the vehicle? Did he call for backup before he got out of the vehicle? We heard him call for backup, but is there a different way he could have de-escalated the entire situation before it turned into gunfire? And of course, we're hoping to address some of those questions more tonight on 11 Alive News at 11. All right, Ron, thank, thank you. you so much. Sure. We will, of course, continue to follow this and bring you the latest information as we get it.